All hail the king of motion capture acting. I ain't watching this watch, and you've got an hour to talk. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Andy Circus performances. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at the most iconic roles of English actor Andy Serkis. We've limited it to his film and television roles, whether they're voice, live action, or motion capture. Unfortunately, however, that means we'll have to exclude his voice work on the highly acclaimed video game, Enslaved, Odyssey to the West. No. Do you think I'm screwing with you? Number 10, Lumpy King Kong. Wait. Andy Serkis plays two roles in the same movie? Yep, that's just how talented he is. We spoke of a huge wall built so long ago. No one knew who made it. While we won't give away where you'll find the titular gorilla on our list here, we will tell you that his portrayal of multitasking Lumpy seems fitting considering Serkis's own capacity to take on multiple roles in his career. I wouldn't be so sure of that. As the SS Ventures cook, barber and surgeon. Lumpy knows how to take care of the crew, but he's also got a bit of a temper. <laughs> Despite this and what he knows about Kong and Skull Island, we know the brave sailor has a good heart. And it's Circus's ability to pull off the character with style that lands him here. Number 9. Mr. Alley, The Prestige. I'm Alley. Sorry about the fence, people keep interfering with our work. It speaks volumes that in a film where giants such as Christian Bale, Hugh Jackman, and Michael Caine dominate the screen, Andy Serkis still manages to hold his own in a small yet vital role. We magicians have a circle of trust. You have a circle of trust with someone whose diary you stole? As the American assistant to Nikola Tesla, who's portrayed by David Bowie, Mr. Alley introduces Robert Angier to Tesla's revolutionary work while the magician is in pursuit of the ultimate illusion. Even in what's basically an extended cameo, Circus never fails to steal the spotlight. I never bothered to check the calibration because the hand never moved. Number 8. William Hare, Burke and Hare. A man deserves to die in the comfort of his own bed, surrounded by his friends. Murder has never been so funny. As real-life murderer William Hare, Circus is one half of the titular duo that's completed by Simon Pegg as William Burke. I need to make more money. Fast. Don't tell me she charged you for the night. Together, the criminals make a fortune killing those who are in the later stages of their lives and selling the corpses. With something of a twisted moral compass, sharp wit, and a love of money, Hare may have been a shady cretin, but thanks to Circus's performance, we're glad he didn't end up at the wrong end of a noose. But that is outrageous! We're all innocent! Number 7. Ulysses Clow, Avengers Age of Ultron. The enhanced. Struck as Bryce pupils. Needless to say, we were thrilled to hear that Andy Serkis would be joining the ever expanding cast of Marvel's Cinematic Universe. Tony Stark used to say that to me. You're one of his. What? In a small but significant part in the Avengers sequel, Circus plays a particularly loathsome arms dealer named Ulysses Clow. You know, it came at great personal cost. It's worth billions. His brief appearance shows us both sides of Clow. On the one hand, he's a calculating and resourceful businessman. On the other, he's got a vile temper and a short fuse. And Circus's sinister quirkiness is perfect for the role. A villain completely unintimidated by the astonishing characters and events around him. Circus is a perfect fit for the Marvel Universe, and we cannot wait to see more of him in Marvel's 2018 film, Black Panther. Shoot them. Which ones? All of them! <laughs> Number 6. Martin Hannett, 24 Hour Party People. You'll never see me again. You don't deserve to see me again. This comedy drama tackles several decades of the music scene in Manchester, beginning with the punk rock of the 1970s. Right, stop. We got we got a rattle. We're gonna have to dismantle the whole kit. While following the career of news reporter and factory records head Tony Wilson, we're introduced to Martin Hannett, a real life producer who's played by Circus as a straight faced but utterly brilliant lunatic. I've got something for you. <laughs> Though 
Hannett's work with Joy Division soon brings success to the label and the band. It's the character's obsession with recording silence and his belief in his own genius that are actually the highlights of the performance itself. You're recording silence? Well, now I'm recording Tony f***ing Wilson. Number 5. Captain Haddock, The Adventures of Tintin Nobody takes my ship! They've already taken it. Like, nobody takes my ship twice! Halfway through the list, and we finally encounter a motion capture character. I don't remember anything about anything. In this modern Steven Spielberg epic, Circus plays Tintin's adventurous and regularly drunk sidekick, Captain Haddock. No one like him ever existed in my family. Why do you think I drink? Because I know I'll never be like him. Despite his shortcomings, of which there are many, this seafarer lives to reclaim the treasure of the unicorn, a vessel that his ancestor sank to the bottom of the ocean to keep out of the hands of his mortal enemy. He's Red Rackham's descendant! He means to finish! Haddock's is ultimately a tale of redemption and perseverance, and Circus pulls it off superbly with his trademark vocal enthusiasm. I thought you were an optimist. Well, you were wrong, weren't you? I'm a realist. Us, just another name for a quitter. Number four, Ian Dury, Sex and Drugs and Rock and Roll. Good evening. I'm from Essex. In this biographical film, Circus portrays new wave musical pioneer Ian Dury. Does the title sound familiar? The movie is named after the Dory song of the same name, which is reportedly the inspiration behind the phrase in pop culture. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Julian English crowd, Mr. Ian Dory! Meanwhile, in the movie, Circus presents Dory as a tragic figure and shows how he struggled to live with a crippling case of polio. He attacks the nervous system. Here, here, and here. Makes you bloody nervous because he can bloody well kill ya. By depicting the grit of punk rock, and the pain of having to face such a vicious disability, all the while setting landmarks for music in general. Circus's performance can only be described as a visceral but beautiful tribute. And 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 rock and roll. Number three, Kong, King Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Kong, the eighth wonder of the world. the direction of Peter Jackson and Circus's masterful skills with motion capture, the King of Skull Island was revitalized in the most spectacular of ways in 2005. By spending time observing gorillas at London Zoo, as well as in Rwanda, Circus was able to portray the giant ape with incredible authenticity. He also convinced us that the beast just so happened to be really good at kicking the crap out of dinosaurs. Though we've already sung the praises of Circus's Lumpy on this list, it's Kong that we feel for the most. And despite the destruction he causes, it's so painful to see the legendary primate's fate unfold that we're the ones left feeling like monsters in the end. It's just a dumb animal, doesn't know nothing. Number two, Caesar, the Planet of the Apes franchise. Caesar is home. We should be thankful because, without the groundwork that King Kong laid down, we may not have gotten the awesomeness that is Caesar. No! After inheriting the properties of a drug meant to cure Alzheimer's from his mother, the future ruler of the apes is born. Is any of this making any sense to you? Caesar's increased intelligence leads him to rally his fellow captives in a total takeover of the world. Apes! Do not want war! But will fight if we must! It's a multi-layered character capable of both mercy and violence, and Circus's incredible performance allows for every word spoken to echo like a war drum. You are not a This leaves no room for doubt that you're indeed looking at the king of the planet of the apes. Do not come back. Before we unveil our number one pick, 
Here are some honorable mentions. Excuse me, Mr. Gilbert, sir, if I may. A Japanese. Japanese. Yes. Yes. You see, he hasn't got the faintest idea what you're talking about. We've just got here. I am very tired. We are not in Iceland, and she is not going to die of what? What have you put that back on for? Because I'm cold. Look, I don't want to talk to your eyes all night. Take it off. The droid we seek is aboard the Millennium Falcon. In the hands of your father, Han Solo. Number one, Gollum. The Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit franchises. Stupid fat Hobbit. This is the role that all subsequent motion capture performances will likely be compared to. And for good reason. A slave to his obsession with the One Ring of Power, this iconic creature blew audiences away with his signature voice, creepy appearance, and unnervingly sympathetic character. I heard it from his own mouth. He makes the murder us! Abba! Circus plays Gollum's schizophrenic-like nature to perfection by showing us both the monster and the fragments of the innocent soul left inside. What did you say? Master looks after us now. We don't need you. What? Even among the epic battles and jaw-dropping landscapes found in these franchises, there's simply no arguing that the former Hobbit known as Smeagol wouldn't have been as utterly and unforgettably precious without Circus's voice and performance. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.